lot of emphasis on the John QT with his setups. And now right in his face. Still Good pick, Phil. One. I mean, there's a player above him and to the side at the bottom of the small. What? <laughs> Phantom moment. Wait. That would piss me off if Straight I died like that. I'm not going to lie. Strafing from side to side there. Chill. Only two players surviving. At least gets the plant off, but you got to think again. So 2v4. The main control. Let's go. Maybe I, you got to take some risks in this situation, in this scenario. Can't just let them play for the retake. Optimally, there's one. Trade was a bit delayed, but Tens eventually gets it labored in the process. Sassy with a diffuse sticking half already. The win conditions are just the win. Whoa, like, his head. Seven. Wait. Zine. His you cross are perfectly tracked Tyson's like that whole time that he didn't even fan. That was scary. They are the favorites in this play. -in. And they have looked phenomenal on the defense side of split. Yo, he actually almost got that flick. But I was expecting on to be Daisy Z. More moments than this for MIBR to be able to get some impact in these rounds. It's just looked <laughs> clinical from Sentinels. I'd be looking at one of the fastest maps we've seen in America. I don't know what that is, but we get our finest minds on the job, probably. Notice how they've moved their defensive setup Quick, again. John Cutie was 13 anchoring B in the previous round. This time, moves his setup back over towards A. Now, it's very difficult to get a read on exactly what's going on when your players on the outsides of the map play such kind of passive positions. I mean, look at the way that these players are positioned over here. It's very far away from the action. Generally yeah. speaking, MIBR, the people holding yeah. the outsides of the map are going to play really disciplined. But that also means you don't get a good read on who's anchoring where. You know, it's actually interact with the, cipher utility the way that John Cutie plays Cypher is really good. FRZ's Obviously, like any pro that is able to cycle a through utility like that, it's good. But map. it's yeah. actually kind of insane to me but that there's so many teams that play without a Sentinel now on Split the and they're able to make it work. Like Thanks Loud, for, for instance. <laughs> it's like. That's just fuck. out of pocket. Okay. 45 seconds. I mean, they know that mm. FRZ is there. They're now using the Sky Dog to flush yeah. him out. Force made to try and commit over towards it. You see the spikes making this move and ground over towards it. But Sentinels are not giving up this space. Not out of heaven. Players through main now. Dash forwards, kill trip. John QT is to set up an adjustment you can. Read this one. A gap into the wall. Reveals all. Wow, Sassy to get the one pick and now just evacuates, backing away. Spike dropped down into a really unfortunate location, playing within the smokes. Eventually will start to fade here. Players walking up onto the sides, but look at it. Players don't know which way to look here for MIBR. It's just impossible. There's no easy fight granted. And there's eventually going to be the triple phase of the satchel to set it all up. Oh. Nice. Eight to zero. It's clinical. It's Very a masterclass. Nice. It absolutely is. And you got to remember as well that MIBR nice. last year's meta. There was a lot of talk from the desk about how they didn't really like the solo.